What's going on guys? We're back. Today's Father's Day. Had a great day with the family, the wife, everyone. Went to a car show, had some lunch. Actually, we did a lot more. You can see yesterday, blowing shit up. But today, today's my day. After doing everything, got a, new, a few new tools, as you can see, from the fam. Uh, but basically, we're gonna drop some heads on this bitch and let's roll. All right, guys, we're gonna get these lifters loaded and rocking, ready to go in the guides. So what we have here, basically Summit's lifter guides. Get them all out. New hardware. Put that aside. Obviously when you put the lifter in, it only fits one way, but the roller wants to go perpendicular to the way the guides are. So basically, got our cookies that have been marinating in my wife's pan, as you can see, nice and sloppy. Boom, just like that. Got my glove a little bit. So basically we're gonna make a mess. All right guys, you're gonna put a healthy amount of assembly lube on everything, even though they've been soaking in oil. I'll drop it down in the hole a little bit. Come on here. Now just patient. A little jiggle, and they're in. And now you do the same for the three other guides and lifters. Be generous with the lube. Here we're running down the supplied hardware for the valve guys. It calls for eight foot pounds, but we just run them down good and tight. Now I'm just taking some brake clean and a paper towel and cleaning the surfaces of all oil before I put down the head gaskets. Now I'm tapping in the guide pins for the heads. Here we are using Felpro gaskets. As you can see, they are the same left and right. Um, basically, you put the front logo going towards the front cover, just like that. All right, guys, kind of showing you the difference between factory hardware and ARP head bolts. I didn't go with head studs. I know we're going to be putting boosts to this down the road, but basically, I'll be honest and say we're on a budget. So here's the part number. If you can see it, let's see, boom, for the ARP head bolts. You know, basically matching hardware, 
comes with washers and a little bit of this assembly awesome lube is what i call it all right let's start throwing them in here i am putting the arp fastener lube on the threads as well as the washer to help when torquing even though i've sped up the video i'm running all the hardware down in the torque sequence Now we're starting with 25 foot-pounds. Next we move to 50 foot-pounds. Now we finish off bolts one through 10 at 80 foot pounds of torque. Now this is where I had the in-law show up and I totally missed the shot. I don't know if you see the gift there. Basically, we're gonna to torque those top bolts to 25 foot-pounds of torque. Now I'm gonna apply some assembly lube to the bottom of the push rod and throw it in the hole. Now you can see I'm quite generous with the assembly lube. I do this for that added protection. Okay, this is where you slap on the rocker arms and you basically run down the bolts by hand and then run them down with a gun. And now I follow it back up with the torque wrench at 22 foot pounds of torque and make sure that they've all seated. Now I turn the motor over several times to confirm that my torque on all the rockers at 22 foot-pounds is still good. See guys, that wasn't even hard. So now I'm just slapping the valve covers on, buzzing them down and getting it ready for paint. All right guys, that concludes my Father's Day put this shit together special. <laughs> hey, like I said, I appreciate everyone following along. I appreciate everyone subscribing, whatnot. I hope this uh, experience was uh, as good for you as it was for me. And uh, I hope to see you on my next one where I'm going to make this thing look a little more pretty. All right. Have a good night.